Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can schedule a chat message to be sent automatically in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you need to do is navigate to the chat with the recipient whom you would like to receive that scheduled message. Next, you want to click on the three dots just below the compose box, and then you want to search for the workflows app. Next, you want to click on the workflows app icon, and then you want to click on add. Next, you want to click on create new action, and this is going to bring up a list of templated flows. You want to search for and select the schedule a message template. Next, you wanna click on add workflow. Next, you wanna click on run flow. And you can see here that this has brought up the Power Automate Actions card. And specifically, this card is the when do you want to send the message. So you wanna go ahead and select the date on which you want this message to be sent. So I'll go ahead and select today. And then you want to select the time. So I will schedule this to fire in a few minutes from now. And then you want to go ahead and enter your message. So I'll just type in, this is a scheduled message. And you also have the option of at mentioning an individual or the recipient. So I'll go ahead and at mention the recipient for this message. And you'll also notice that you have the option to receive a notification when this message is posted. So I'll go ahead and check this. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click Submit. And that message has been scheduled. And so you'll see in a minute that this message is automatically going to be sent. And we'll see that I will also receive a notification in my activity feed. And so you can see here that the scheduled message was sent. So you can see the text that reads, this is a scheduled message, Alex Wilbur. Now you'll notice in this case that the activity feed notification did not fire. And that might be because I didn't check the option. Or sometimes I've noticed that even if you check the option, um, there have been instances where this happens where you don't actually get that activity feed notification. Now you can see here previous notifications that I received four scheduled messages that I sent, and that's essentially what it looks like. If you click on it, it's just going to bring you right into that scheduled message. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can cancel a scheduled message after you actually schedule it. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and created another scheduled message that will be sent to my colleague, Alex Wilbur here. Now, if you want to view messages that you've already scheduled and perhaps cancel them, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the more added apps button and you want to click into Power Automate. This is going to show you all of the flows that you have enabled or that you've created in Teams and you'll notice the first one here says schedule a message. Now if you wanted to disable this flow you could go ahead and toggle this but if you want to actually see the scheduled instances of this flow, or again, if you've scheduled a message and you wanna potentially cancel it, you wanna click on the more commands button at the end of the schedule a message row. And here you wanna go ahead and click on run history. Now you can see here this instance of the workflow that is running. This is the one that I had just scheduled to fire at 9 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you can see here that the flow is executed, but there's a step in this flow that says delay until, and that's specifically the time that you select in the card. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and cancel this, I could just click cancel. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you're going to see here the prompt that says, are you sure you want to cancel the selected flow run? I'll go ahead and click okay. And this flow has been canceled, meaning that that scheduled message is no longer going to be sent. So that's it. This was just a very quick tutorial showing you how you can schedule a chat message to be sent automatically in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish.
I'm Louis Yacobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.